Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're not new here. In today's video, we are doing 24 hour realistic day in my life. Right now, as you can see, I am working out. So this particular morning, I already got the kids to school. It's around 9.45 a.m. I decided since I'm already up, got my clothes on, I might as well do a quick little workout because I sometimes decide to go to the gym. Sometimes I just decide to do my workouts at home, chill a little bit, but start the day off productive because it usually catapults into me being productive all day after workout it is time for cleaning of course like I always do a lot of the times I don't like to include my cleaning in the vlogs because I do it all the time I'm putting on a YouTube video I'm watching honey K I love her she usually does like stripper vlogs but um, just vlogs in general I really love her channel go check her out also what I've been doing to be more productive is making the dinner in the morning time while I'm up while I'm fresh before I have have time to get exhausted <laughs> throughout the day it's best if i just get the breakfast or i mean the dinner done now as you can see it's 11 51 here so it's just shy of noon and i am making tacos i really love this range that i have this stove or whatever i really like using the griddle to make things especially like when i'm making tacos as you can see it's easy to do the shells from there as well as make the meat so this is like an easy weekday meal i usually make tacos during the week because it's an easy meal to make when i have to go to work and then i'm gonna of course load the dishwasher like literally this is what i do every single day on the regular today i do go to work so again i'm getting all my cleaning done this morning i'm getting the dinner out of the way this morning i'm getting everything pretty much done before the kids get here at three so that i am not struggling i'm just really happy to have a freaking dishwasher again you guys because if you guys are ogs to the channel then you know huh, my other place we did not have a freaking dishwasher and at this point i feel like this is an amenity that i am never ever ever going to go without again like when i was at the old place i was literally looking to buy what are those like portable ones i heard you can get a portable one but whatever i'm so happy that i have my freaking dishwasher now you guys definitely saves me time when i am doing the kitchen i love my kitchen in general it's so much more spacious compared to my other place um now i have to make it a point to kind of keep this thing clean especially since i use the griddle all the time and also the stainless steel appliances get really really dirty then they tend to look even dirtier because you can see a lot of grime on black surfaces so i've been trying to prevent this from building up and you know cleaning these things regularly the burners and things like that I also like to get my room rather clean when I say I like to get everything clean what I basically mean is the kitchen and my room and the living room I don't really clean the kids rooms um, I let the older boys come home and clean their room and then the little baby's room usually when the babysitter comes and puts them to sleep she cleans their room up um, and the bathroom after they take their showers and stuff later on After I get done with everything, I sit down, I make myself some lunch, and then I relax until about 3 o'clock when it is time for me to start looking out for the kids and for cash to start coming on the bus. So I'm watching 90 Day Fiance. Hey guys, I'm in the car now. I pretty much just watch TV from like 1 to 3. That's my little relax period. I either nap or just like relax and watch TV. So that's what I did. I watched TV till I fell asleep. My alarm went off at 3. I got dressed and now I'm going to go pick up Kobe and then head to work. So yeah. I've been trying to wear my, my natural hair, my, my locks. And the only reason I look sad like this is because I feel like I need to learn how to style them. 
and I'm just not used to looking at myself like this but I'm trying they're getting harder to hide under the wigs obviously because they're getting so long so like I'm trying my best to just put makeup on and I need to figure out how to style locks or I need to go to a stylist <laughs> I need first of all I need a retwist so there's that if I had a retwist I feel like it might be easier to I don't know but here I am I wore it to work one time and then everyone loved it so now I feel like I can't go back because everyone's like what about, what about oh you should just wear your hair is that your hair is, oh. and I'm like I don't know everybody else likes it but I'm one of those people if I don't like it I can't rock with it so I'm gonna see like I said I'm gonna give it two weeks if I don't like it I'm going back to my wigs I don't even like how it's already looking right now on camera to be honest I just feel like I'll expose also because I never wear my hair in ponytails I always have my hair down I feel like the locks look weird down I just need to figure out a style to wear them down properly or retwist them like I said so I think it's just that I have a ponytail on I don't know but anyways I'm getting Kobe and then I'm headed toward guys I'm on my lunch break now I just stopped at Target um, I picked up these earrings that's not what I went for but I'm talking about the earrings now because I'm trying to get this one off and I don't know why it's like so tight I'm literally gonna break a nail trying to get it off and that's this is not a good sign because if I can't get it off of here but when I once I put this in my ear and then try to get it off it's gonna be a problem honestly with me wearing my natural hair like this i got it i already feel like it's ghetto it's sad that i have to feel that way but this is america like <laughs> and dreads and braids is just not looked at as as professional then i had then i realized i had my bamboo earrings on too but i'm like i just look a little too ethnic today and again i know how that sounds that sounds bad but that this is the industry i work in you know and i I barely see black people <laughs> coming in anyway so it's like the type of crowd also that comes in I don't know I feel like it just doesn't look appealing to them and that's another reason why I just I don't really wear my hair to work but see because I had these on and again that's my ghetto fault for buying these but I am black and you know this is what appeals to me but again I'm not necessarily just trying to appeal to myself but the customers where I work so man and then I left my work bag inside because usually I'm not gonna lie I have my little smoke break but my smoke is but my stuff is um at work I actually came here to get a shirt for cash for picture day which I got and then I just happened to pick up those earrings too and some feminine products non cool things I don't need to show you like period stuff so that's great that's probably why I'm in this <sighs> mood I was gonna go sit in a parking ground honestly that's probably what I should do go sit at a park in ground sometimes i just like sit literally sit in the grass uh, i'm just gonna go do that because there's a park like right i say it's a 30 second drive i'm filming on my phone sorry for this quality but i left my whole work bag in there i don't know why that's what i mean it's one of those days but i literally left my whole work bag all i took was my wallet to come to Target and nothing else.
Yeah, I'm not here. Oh. <laughs> Good. Hey guys, I'm back home now. Okay, so remember how I told you earlier I was like filling this hair out like Oh no, guys, it's day three of my two-week trial, and I still don't like it. Comment down below, um, down below, your honest opinion. Because, like I said, I don't know, I feel like, like, for working and the people at work, they tell me, Oh, so cute! I'm still not, like, sold. And it's, like, I'm one of those people, if I don't like it, I can't rock with it. I don't care if it's popular. I don't care if it's in style. I don't care if everyone else likes it. If I don't feel comfortable in something, just like, I don't want to do it. I want to wear the hair. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys that we got a new kitty. This is Muffin. Say hi, Muffin. Hi, Muffin. This is Muffin. Muffin is our new kitty. Hi, Muffin. Hi, sweet Muffin. What you doing, Muffin? That's Muffin. Yeah, so I stayed after work. I had a glass of wine. Uh, had some Merlot, which I've been calling. Well, my boyfriend started calling it this, and now I can't stop calling it. But it's just my adult melatonin. Because, well, I'm like, girl, a glass of red wine will have you ready to go to sleep. Like, it literally is adult melatonin. So money-wise, I did okay for a Monday. It was like... It was so slow. We're coming upon our, our little slow season. So what I'm about to do right now before I get into in the shower is I usually get everybody's clothes together and put out for the morning. But when I when I get here, I'm going to remember to do it because it just makes the morning go smoother when I have everybody's clothes lined out, all the kids. Also get my boyfriend's clothes out the night before so he's not scrambling because he wakes up really early to leave. So when I get his clothes together, smoke me a little ganja. That was a good day. It was a good day. It's always a good day. I'm always thanking the God. I mean, any day that you survive, you live, you're able to walk, you're able to talk, you're able to breathe. You have a job to go to. You have a roof over your head. Your kids are healthy. Like, it's a good day. Any day, like, every day is a good day. I started to realize that. There's no such thing as a bad day. Every day that you're alive and well and living and kicking, and living and kicking is a good day. If I can figure out how to wear my hair down like this. <laughs> so, once I figure out how to style it, guys, it's over. So you're about to get out of the shower. The next day. Hey guys, it's the next morning. Um, I just, I didn't do anything but put some clothes on. Is there this on because I have a meeting at 9 a.m. at Kobe's school. Right now, the two little ones are up, Cash and Kobe, so we're going to get them ready, and then I'm going to wake the big boys up. They're going to get ready, and we're kind of rushed today because it's, it's almost 8 o'clock, and I need to get there. Oh my God, Kobe, I need to get the big boys to school by um, 8.45, and then get to the meeting by 9, and then Cash is going to come with me to the meeting. He has a late start today because his school starts at 10.15, so... Like, it's a mess today. It's always a mess. I woke up congested and I don't know why. So I'm going to take some medicine. I really hope I'm not getting sick. Like, what? sick season again. I need to boost our um, vitamin C. I just ran out of orange juice. I need to get us lost. We need to stay stocked up with orange juice for the winter. And also, I need to get us some supplements. Because I'm tired of being sick when the kids go to school. I'm tired. Now, yesterday I couldn't get used to my hair, but for some reason waking up this morning, well, I washed it last night and everything. I don't know, I feel like it looks decent today in this little side. I don't know, I think, um, like I said, I'm going to see if today I can, like, attempt to retwist it myself. Most girls, especially when you're taking a picture or filming, like, 
You look better when your hair is down, obviously, because your hair is all full bad. Like, I think that's why I don't like it. It's just that it's in a ponytail. It's not the locks themselves. It's just that I'm the only thing I know how to do is put it in a ponytail because I feel like it looks weird straight. It's kind of like when you just have straight hair and it's just bone straight or it's just straight down. You look all like possessed. Like, so it, I can't just leave it straight down. I, I have to like braid do a braid out and crimp it or something or like do some little part or a swoosh to the side like something i can't just have it flat down like it, it looks like i look like um a little dirt or something you know and no no so <laughs> i'm gonna figure it out well yeah let me let's hurry up and go whatever There. Just detoxes the body. I put the end of the kids' cup. Hit you with the blick. Okay. Happy feet. We're putting this happy kids on. I'm back at home, you guys. Cash just got on the bus. It is now 10 o'clock. Everybody is gone. It's just me now. So, this has been 24 hours. A realistic 24 hours. This is what I do. Go to work. <laughs> Cook, clean. Like, this is this is a regular ass, regular, regular 24 hours in my life. I'm about to go eat me some food, watch TV. I'm probably going to sauna and I'm probably going to do some stretching, some yoga because my body feels sore. Today's my Friday. I'm going to just get ready to relax tomorrow. So, I am going to probably not relax today because I want to try and get stuff done that I need to get done so that tomorrow on my off day I can truly relax. So, that's what's up for today. If you guys have not subscribed, please consider subscribing, okay? Please. And go ahead and like the video too. If you can i'll see you all back in another vlog not sure if it'll be a daily vlog weekly vlog whatever vlog whatever we're gonna do <laughs> but i'll see you guys in another video bye